hello guys welcome back so now let's just quickly implement the ui for our sign up screen so for that purpose i will remove simply this text widget first of all i will add some space of height 11 using size box widget then we will use the inkwell widget now here we have the click event on tap so when a user click on this uh, we will send the user to phone gallery from where the user can pick an image for their profile as this is the seller app so i mean seller okay child circle avatar radius and the radius will be according to the screen size we will set and this is the best practice to adjust the user interface according to the phone screen size or in simple words you can say the best practice is to implement responsive UI so the radius will be according to the width that is whatever the screen width is whatever the mobile phone screen width is we will take 0.20 percent of it Now here we need to add a dependency inside our prospect.ml and we will add it below this Cupertino icons and that dependency name is image underscore picker which will help us in allowing the user to pick an image from the gallery. So once you add this click on pubget or I already told you guys you can run flutter pubget from the terminal like this. Open up the terminal and just write the command flutter pub get okay just like that so now let's come back to the sign up screen and let's implement our picking image from gallery feature so what we can do first of all we will create an instance of x file and you see it belongs to the dependency which we just added that is the image picker package let's give it name as image file then we will create an instance of the image picker which belongs to the same image picker package. We will give it name as picker image image picker. Now let's implement a method in which we will allow the user to pick or you can say get image from gallery. So we can give it name this method as pick image from gallery as the seller will be redirected to the phone gallery so we have to wait for the response that is the seller will pick any image till that time we have to wait for the response so that's why we make this method asynchronous and we wait for the response and that response is basically here we will write the code that is picker image dot pick image that is we are sending the user to the phone gallery so the image source will be dot gallery so what we did we send the user to the phone gallery and we are waiting for the response that is once the image is picked from the gallery we will assign that to our image file variable then we will set stat for the image file that is to update the changes on the user interface at real time now from where we will call this method you already know that when the user tap on this inkwell this will be basically a button which we will uh, add now icon button you can say so we can call our pick image this method okay pick image from gallery and let's add UI for this inkwell uh, icon button that is we will add here now first of all the background image so you know it will depend on our image file if the image file is null that is if the image is not yet selected by the seller then in that case we will not display anything that is it will be null that is no background image in that case there would be no background image otherwise if an image is already selected by the seller from the phone gallery then we will display that actual image which the seller pick from phone gallery simple 
so we can say file and it will be image file dot path now here you have to make sure that you import dot io and not html okay sometimes uh, you know you by mistake you uh, add the package file for dot html which is not the required one okay this one dot io is the required one so the background image will be if the image is selected from the phone gallery then display that actual image which the seller pick from phone gallery otherwise if image file is equals to null then in that case no background image and now here we have to uh, add icon you can say a button and it will also depend on our image file that is if image file equals to null then in that case we will display icon button so we can say icon you can say icon you know not button because uh, we already use inkwell widget and inside the inkwell we have a property child to which we can assign either a text or icon so which will uh, which will be working as a button you can see you can say that okay because inkwell has a property on tap which is a click event so you can say that this icon becomes our button else display nothing which simply means that first let's implement then I will explain it again so icons dot photo add photo alternate we'll use this icon size for this icon will be according to the screen size that is we will take 20.20% 20, uh, 20 of the screen width size and then after size color for this colors will be gray so what it means is our this inkwell widget to this we add this click event okay then on the user interface this inkwell must have some ui like a icon or a text so we proceed with a tag uh, with an icon okay that is we check on the basis of image file if the image file is equals to null which simply means that if the seller has not yet selected an image then in that case we will display this icon that is the seller has to tap on this icon to send the seller to the phone gallery otherwise if the image is already selected then in that case we have to do nothing because at that time if the image is already selected then we will see the background image which is the actual image file which the seller pick from the gallery in simple words what it means if the image is not selected yet by the seller in that case we will see this icon okay now the moment the seller click on this icon and choose any image from the gallery in that case this icon will disappear that is null and at that time the background image will be visible which will be this actual image which the seller pick from gallery so now let's test our application and you will understand now let's go to the sign up you can see that so this is our inkwell widget okay first of all as you can see for the user interface we have circle avatar we have circle avatar first of all which you can see the radius of which is according to the screen size that is whatever the screen width size is it will take 0.2 percent of the screen width which you see exactly okay then the background color is white which you see and then after it as the seller has not yet choose or pick image from the phone gallery so it means image file is equals to null so when it is equals to null at that time we will see no background image so you see no background image and here uh, as you see that seller has not yet pick any image from the phone gallery so image file is equals to null so at that time at the ui you see this icon which is this plus image icon as you can see this icon okay and we see no other thing just this icon we see because this condition execute that is the ternary if condition remember when this this question mark this means if 
and this colon means else so image file that is at this time the seller has not choose or pick any image from the phone gallery so image file is equals to null which means this first condition execute and it displays this icon button now the moment when I click on that then the on tap event will be uh, executed and it will call this method so let's click you see it send us to the phone gallery now as I do not have any image in the phone gallery so of course first let's download if you are using your real phone then you can download from a browser similarly in your emulator you can go to Google Chrome and just download some images just search for let's say profile pictures as this is seller app so I will search for restaurants around me so when you search for any restaurant just click on images and it will display you images okay so for now I will simply download an image you can download like this okay because uh, any person like who is new to the mobile development then maybe they will have problem so anyone who is experienced in flutter please do not mind I'm doing this step by step uh, thing for them okay so that they can learn also how they can uh, download images okay so anyways now as I download so I will click here as you can see it sent me to the phone gallery currently I have only one image so when I click on that and let me tell you it execute this method okay which is at the moment when I click on the button it sent me that is it's called this method which means that seller is sent to the phone gallery now any image from the gallery as a seller when seller pick it tag that image okay and set stat means it uh, update the changes on the user interface that is we see that image now how for that we have write a condition that is background image so now as you see that image is picked that is image is not equals to null so the else statement will execute and as a result we see on the user interface the actual image which the seller pick from the phone gallery that's it